To date, homosexual behavior has been documented in a few hundred species. Can something that seems to be widespread in nature be dismissed as irrelevant? Or do we need to think again? When we see one animal mounting another, most of us naturally assume, truly assume, truly assume that it's a male mounting a female. It's not surprising that many early field zoologists who witnessed, 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 witnessed homosexual behavior chose to ignore it and concentrate on, and concentrate, and concentrate on, and concentrate on, and concentrate on heterosexual sex. In 1892, one report that did document homosexual. These octopuses are both male. And these male dolphins will probably be lifelong sexual partners. And the behavior has been used to suggest that in animals, one partner in any homosexual situation is always non-consenting. But these bulls force themselves on both male and female pups. And in elephant sea, <laughs> behavior can seem aggressive. If we studied only elephants,